Mark Schiffer with The Athletic. Hey, Bruce, I, I got two for you. Just what, what was working so well for you tonight? And, and then did you, what, what made you break out the shimmy in front of the Kim's the Kim bench there? Um, I just got easy ones at the beginning of the game. They were leaving me in transition. James was finding me. Uh, so once you see him going, you, you, uh, you feel good. And then uh, they were just talking crazy. So that, and it was my second one. So uh, you know how benches do when you're not shooting too well. You know what they say. So uh, I had to do something. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Bruce, what's the does, does winning five, six, seven games in a row change the way a team carries themselves? And did you guys always envision being able to go on a winning streak like this back when you guys were struggling to break free of those early, early ups and downs earlier? This I, season? I think we knew we were going to be good. Uh, it just took a matter of time, uh, some chemistry. Um, but I mean, yeah, it feels good. Uh, it gives us some more confidence than we already had. Uh, so we're just going to keep pushing and try to get more wins. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Bruce, it looked like you had a moment where with Jeff Green where that was the moment you saw just how many points you scored. How can you be up there like that and have have no idea? Did, was that the moment that you found out? Yeah, that was the moment I found out because I don't really be looking up there um, too much. When I do look up there, it's like for the score. It's not like individual stats. Um, so, yeah, he, he came to me and said, why did I get 30? And I'm like, I don't bro, I don't know what I had. Like, what did I have? He was like 29. I was like, damn, I should have made that layup at the end. <laughs> Thank you. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Bruce. A lot's been made about the, uh, the struggles that you guys have had against losing teams, how great you are against the better teams and how you struggled against the losing teams. Is this kind of a trap game that you guys might not have won two or three weeks ago? Uh, no, I think we would have won. Uh, we would have came in, locked in, um, focused. We would have won this game, for sure. Tom Dowd with BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Bruce, your kind of, you know, journey over the course of the season from not playing a lot to your role just kind of getting bigger and bigger and your impact getting bigger and bigger. You mm -hmm. know, have, have you gotten more comfortable, more confident along the way with your for role? Sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm just talking to the guys. Kyrie comes to me all the time. He sees me working on my shot. Uh, and I know I can shoot the ball. It's just confidence right now. Um, so he tells me one a game before every game. Uh, and then I gave him one. So he, if you've seen us, he can't, he looked at me and said one, and I gave him two. So, uh, it was pretty cool. Matt Brooks with Nets Daily. Hey Bruce, there's been a lot made about the, uh, the center role that you've been playing. Um, is this the most you've ever done that role or are there other points in your basketball life where you've also sort of done this and this is just you showing it on a bigger scale. Um, I think I we I played one through five through in AAU. Um, that's about it. Maybe in college I played the four at some points, but never played the five. Um, I, I mean, I'm I'm playing. I'm doing pretty well. Um, I love the role, and I'm just trying to do whatever it is for us to win. If I have to do that, then I'll do it. Thanks so much, Bruce. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Bruce.